Look what we got, Coral. Show it. Jeez, not cutting. Knife much? <laughs> now she's going to be a big distraction. It's called a sweet kiss. CRKT. To add to your collection. Yeah, I like this one. No, no. Come on, don't wear it today. Temporary. <laughs> I'm going to take it off. Is there a screen protector in there? Yeah. I think you got to take it out of that thing. Where's Coral? She's right here. Peekaboo! Just enjoying your little giraffe, okay, huh? You can figure this out in the car. Come on, let's go. Look how cute she is with this thing. Little Lammy. And it has this cute little, like, minky and silk on one side. You got it for me at Nia, huh? Say, oh, say, thank you, Nia. Alright, let's go do something. Let's go get the laundry. Yeah? Crow, are you ready to help mommy make lunch for mommy and daddy? Okay. This is lunch. We're going to have turkey sandwiches with cheese, butter lettuce. That's so good. Just butter, I guess. I'd get a lot of people. Just kidding. Butter lovers. But butter lovers. That sounds weird. Pickle. And these vegetable chips. They are so good. I was like, uh, but they're really good. Go try them at Costco. Go try these at Costco. Yummy. Yay. She's smiling. I know if you're the widow bitches. The widow bitches. Hi, baby. Hi. Long right now? I went for another one and he left me hanging. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do. You told me to vlog. Just to make a sandwich? Yeah. Well, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke, y'all. Thank you for the sandwich, baby. Yeah. Wow, I'm such a controlling husband. I know. You told me when to make it, what, how to make it. What time I had to be ready and I'm late? Better make sure you put enough mayonnaise on there. <laughs> or you will get a spanking. Big old goof. Done. Hey guys, I'm home. I've been working at Starbucks. I got a lot done in a few hours. I was there. So someone on our last vlog post made a comment that I seem like a very controlling guy to my wife. Um, my wife saw that comment and deleted it, by the way. I didn't delete it. I didn't tell her to delete it. She just deleted it because she thought it was silly and not necessary. But anyway, I wanted to uh, uh, comment on that on that uh, comment. They mentioned that uh, Andre makes me breakfast. Uh, she asks me what she can buy. And uh, I don't know, I think a couple other things. And then called me controlling. That it was really obvious that I'm a controlling guy. First off, I'm not very controlling. My wife makes me breakfast because she's my wife and out of the generosity and love in her heart, she makes it for me. I never tell her to make me breakfast and she doesn't very often. She does it every once in a while and I appreciate it very much. Just like I should be making her breakfast. Uh, me making her breakfast doesn't mean she's controlling. And when she asks me to buy certain clothes and stuff, she does it because I'm the one that uh, manages our finances. I'm the one that pays our bills and knows the uh, financial landscape of our family and know what we should and shouldn't buy in certain times. And uh, because I own a business and the money that comes in kind of fluctuates. So she, she consults me for that. It's not a big deal. When you're married, um, it's no longer one person. It is two people. And everything you do should be between both of you. It should never be a one-way thing. So my wife, rightfully so, comes up to me and asks my advice or feedback on maybe something she wants to buy, just like I do it to her about something I want to buy. But anyway, beyond that, Andre and I are Christians. 
and as most people would call traditional, they would call us traditional, they would say we subscribe to traditional ideas of marriage, where the man is the head of the household, has authority over his wife, where his wife submits to her husband, and we do subscribe to that, but we definitely don't, don't call that traditional. I don't believe that. I don't believe that the Word of God was different in the past as it is today. We believe it's the inerrant, infallible Word of God, and what it says is as true today as it was when God created the world, and as true as it will be way in the future. But let me be clear about one thing about the man being the authority figure in the household. That does not in any way mean that my wife is less valuable than I am. In fact, I look at my wife and my child as more valuable than myself, and in a heartbeat, I would lay my life down for either of them. Hey, hey Mrs. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Oh! Your beard spiked you. What do you want to do now? You want to play? Not sure what we're going to do today. Do you want to go swimming in the pool, Andrea? I don't know. I'm going to do some reading. One of my friends at church, Leo, turned me on to a really interesting book that I haven't been able to put down. It's called uh, The Shallows. How the internet is uh, changing the way we think. It's very interesting. I've read a couple chapters, and I'm reading a couple other books that I'd like to get into, and plus I need to do my daily Bible reading. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll be doing something today, I don't know. So I said earlier I'd show you guys what I'm crocheting. It's starting. But I got this, like, mini blanket at Hobby Lobby. So I thought, hey, it's a stroller blanket. Hey, I can make one of these and crochet. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm starting. Michael's reading. What are you reading? You don't like it when I bug him when he reads. I told you what I'm reading. What are you reading? The shadows. Oh, you're still reading them? I'm still reading I that. Didn't know if it I just like, started it. No, I meant like I didn't know if you're reading that. So I told Michael we need to start doing this. Well, why wouldn't Whoops. it be? Hey, what are vlogging? We need to go through the island. And I told him we should ask you guys, should we go north or south first? Michael says you guys don't care, but I think you guys should have a say. They don't care because they don't know. It's they have no idea what's north or south. I know, so let's start exploring. Should we start north or south? But that means nothing to them because they don't know what's north and what's south. South is the volcano and north is beaches. Do you want to start off with beaches or the volcano? So... There's more south than volcano. I know, there's more There's more. There's beaches. South Point. This is South Point right here. This is the most southern port. This is the most southern point in the entire United States. Awesome. And there's a really tall cliff here we can jump off of. Not we. There's a <laughs> green sands beach with has, has green sands. And there's a really cool off-roading path to the green sands beach, which I really want to take my truck to and my drone. So but you need to do that with a guy friend, like one of your guy friends from church. Poor one, I can't do that. Good morning. Hi. You happy to be awake? Yes, he's such a happy little girl. He's such a happy little girl. Did you have a good little nap? Did you sleep good? Yeah, he did. He's such a happy little girl. Yes, you are. He's such a happy girl. Coral just flipped over on her own. Aww, that's a question. She was on her back and she flipped completely over on her stomach. Coral! Coral! Look this way, you cutie. Coral. She's kind of like stuck on her own. Hey, Missy. Hey. <laughs> Pretty girl. She's getting tired. Turn it back over. Her arm kind of looks stuck. Her right arm. This one. Try it again. Try it really over again.
Oh my goodness, she's so adorable. Do it, Carl. Shoot it. Wow, good job, Coral. <laughs> How cute. That blanket wrapped around her neck, though. Baby, her hand is like backwards on the other side. I bought my wife this book a while back called uh, Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. So, like a number one bestseller, it was really famous for a while. The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing. What do I say? How do I say this without offending people? I'm one that is very prone to throwing things out, throwing things away, getting rid of a lot of things to declutter my life, and Andre isn't. And that's part of the reason why I got her this book. I really wanted her to learn about decluttering and just learning how to get rid of things. But anyway, it's had some really nice uh, consequences so far. Look at what she's doing right now. Check out my drawer. I never, I didn't ask her to do this, by the way. She took this upon herself to grab my drawers and organize them. Look at that, those are shirts. My drawers are kind of small. I don't like to have a lot of clothes. That's crazy. Thank you, baby. That is a beautiful drawer right there. And this, this is a beautiful girl. I'm trying to make it go up. Can you do it? Yeah, just a second. Now, I know you guys don't want to see this, but I'm going to also show you my underwear drawer. She did that first. Check it. Look at this. This underwear and my like uh, tank tops. Wow, that is pretty. And all my socks. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but wow, that's pretty cool. Hey, and speaking of cleaning, I completely cleaned this room myself. This place was a disaster and I did all the cleaning. So if you think my wife's done all the cleaning, you're wrong. Anyway, so are we doing anything today or what? Are we going to the pool? The pool. I have a doctor's appointment next Thursday. <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment next Thursday. You know what's really funny <clears throat> about this book? So I bought this book for my wife thinking that maybe she had a, a uh, clutter issue. One of the testimonials in here is, your course taught me to see what I really need and what I don't, so I got a divorce. Now I feel much happier. <laughs> I mistakenly bought my wife a book that's teaching her to run away from her problems. Andre, don't run away from me, okay? I know I'm a problem, but don't run away.